Hi everybody, I'm Julie Skolnick from With Understanding Comes Calm, and isn't that the truth? <laughs> this is the Gifted and Distractible vlog. This vlog today is gonna have to do with emotion, emotional overexcitability. It has to do with advocacy and belief in oneself. So I am experiencing a lot of emotional overexcitability as a person who is deeply empathetic, um, as a person who has great love for humanity, as a person who desires understanding with understanding comes calm. I am extraordinarily tapped at the moment for the emotions and the intellect and um, the need for really important deep work at this time. There are very few things in life that are black and white. It would be so convenient if things were black and white because then we would not have to struggle with the grays. Uh, a lot of TUI people are black and white to their detriment and have a hard time understanding the grays. And every once in a while, there's a moral compass moment when things are not gray. And my guess is there are many of you out there who are feeling similarly and who are frustrated, angry, sad, and scared right now and I have heard from lots of people not to mix politics and profession um, only I don't think what's happening right now is political in any way I think it's actually humanity in every way and um, man I wish everybody could live in peace man I wish everybody could have the same opportunities and start at the same starting line um, I certainly talk about this all the time vis-a-vis -vis the 2e population but in this moment right now I know that what is happening in Israel is pure evil black and white pure evil and if you find yourself wondering, hmm, if I stand with Israel, if I support innocent people who are being tortured and terrorized, am I leaving behind those who would perpetrate? Then I ask you to look into your heart because what is happening is deeply anti-Semitic specifically and anti-democratic and it affects every human on the planet because if this is allowed to happen or if this is god forbid celebrated then we're in very big trouble so i said this was going to be about emotional overexcitability advocacy and um, belief in oneself the advocacy piece is really hard and as I talk to parents and 2E adults and clinicians and teachers all over the world about how to advocate for 2E, for the 2E population, for 2E humans, I'm constantly finding myself saying, you've got to try to get out of your amygdala and into your prefrontal cortex or your thinking brain. And man, that's hard. And then I say, you know, if you can't do that, you might have to find somebody, an advocate to do that for you. And that's true because we need to advocate respectfully. We need to advocate passionately, but not in a way that makes others defensive or unable to hear us. And here I am finding myself listening to my own advice and wondering just how to do that. The way that self-belief comes into this conversation is the strength to stand up for what you know is right. It doesn't mean that you don't care about other people. It means that you care about what's happening right now, the tragedies that are unfolding to women and grandmothers and children and men 
oh, please believe in yourself and be strong enough to stand up and say what you believe. Thank you for listening.